this video, I took three of the most popular cartoons and turned them into emojis. Like, just imagine Mickey Mouse is an emoji. Okay, it would probably actually be more like this. But anyway, let's start the video with Cartman from the popular cartoon South Park. Alright, so let's start designing it. And if you've never seen the show before, South Park, Cartman in the show is actually usually pretty mad. So that's why we're going to actually use this mad emoji right here as like the base. And now I'm actually going to try to cut off each part of Cartman himself and then just place each little part onto the emoji. Just see how that looks. And let's start with the eyes. And while I cut out the eyes to actually put that onto the emoji, here's some backstory on the show. South Park originally came out in August of 1997. I definitely wasn't even born yet, but the show is still popular till today. And I definitely personally like it. But anyways, by now in 2024, the show has made over 300 episodes. Definitely comment below if you like the show, if you've seen it. All right, and then I finished cutting out the eyes and then I'm putting it into the emoji now too. And to be like really precise with it, I just zoomed in and basically tried to warp the eyes to actually fit just exactly how it was with the emoji. And then I just copy and pasted, put another one on the other side and then flipped it too so that it looks correct. And that's definitely a good little starting point to put right there. And then now I'm gonna move on to the next thing, which I'm gonna just cut out his mouth now. And then do the same thing with that, right? So I'm gonna cut it out and then do the same thing with the eyes and actually put it into the emoji. All right, so now we got the mouth cut out too. And I'm actually gonna have to warp this because it's honestly just not shaped correctly. And yo, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, it just, it literally looks like a Hitler's mustache, bro. My dear, my dear. All right, but anyway, let's move on to the next part. Now I'm gonna just cut out the eyebrows of Cartman too. And basically every single thing that I had to cut out uh, from, you know, Cartman to put on the emoji, I had to warp. Yeah, I warped it. It definitely doesn't look the best, but I tried to do my best with it. And then I, you know, flipped it, put it on the other side too. And then I actually went in and like erased some of the edges off too, so it looked a little bit better. And this is obviously what we have so far, and let's just keep going with it. And the next thing I'm actually do is cut out the hat. I feel like this is actually going to be a part that's going to make it like stand out a lot. And I almost messed up right there. I think I had to just flip it. Yeah, there you go. And it still got the eyebrows on the hat, so I had to go in and color it. And just basically fix the yellow and blue parts right there. And now I could just use the hat by itself to put on the emoji. And then at this point, after I put on the hat, I was almost like feeling like it was already done. But then I noticed like the little lines under uh, Carmen's actual like jaw or whatever on his neck. And at first I wanted to just draw him because I thought that would be like the best thing to do is just quickly, you know, just quickly draw the little lines or whatever. It definitely didn't turn out at all as good as I wanted it to. So I literally just decided to go back in and just literally take out the exact lines from Cartman by just cutting out everything on his face except for those little lines right there. And then I just cut out the lines like that. And then I just basically resized it and shaped it to fit on the emoji. And that's actually going to be the finished one right there. I couldn't really think of anything else to add to it. But yeah, that's basically Cartman as an emoji. Let me know what you think and let's move on to the next one. All right, now the next one we're actually going to do is SpongeBob SquarePants. That's going to be the next cartoon that we turn into an emoji. If you don't know, SpongeBob is pretty much always super happy. So I think I'm going to just turn him into like the smiling emoji with the teeth out. I feel like that's actually going to fit perfectly for SpongeBob. So the first thing I did was just basically go on Google and get that, you know, smiley emoji to start. So we're going to use that as the base right here. And then I went in and got a different picture of SpongeBob just because I wanted like like the flat straight up to the camera face so it wasn't at an angle so we got that and i cut out everything i basically didn't feel like i needed and then i noticed as i like you know resized it it kind of looked a little blurry so i just basically got the same exact picture again and it was a little bit higher quality and now i knew i was able to use that one so i basically wanted to start off by cutting out the teeth or basically the whole smile that's going to be the first thing i ended up you know putting onto the emoji and obviously we're gonna do that with the eyes, the nose, everything else. But yeah, while I'm cutting that out, let me give you some quick backstory on SpongeBob 2. It premiered on May 1st of 1999, created by Steven Hillenberg. And I'm just gonna read this straight off of Google. This is not my exact words, but it says, the show follows the adventures of SpongeBob SquarePants, a friendly and optimistic sea sponge, and his diverse group of underwater friends in the fictional city of Bikini Bottom. And it says the series was initiated to entertain and educate children about marine life. I don't honestly remember learning it from there, but yeah, okay. And there's also been over 270 episodes. So almost the same as South Park with like close to 300. And now that we got the smile cut out for the emoji. And then before I fully put that on, I wanted to change the emoji to like way more yellow. Just so it would actually match a lot better. And then I went in and basically colored in the smile that was originally on the emoji. So I could put the SpongeBob one over on top of it. And I just tried to match the yellow too right there. And then once I put in the smile, it definitely, you know, had its own space to put right there. And now I think that looks pretty good and we can move on to the next thing. The next thing is the holes in SpongeBob. So I just basically used like a little, you know, paintbrush tool and just put some light little circles in different, you know, sizes. And I just quickly went through that and then I moved on to the next thing, which was the eyes right here too. Which I definitely had to go in and completely cut out too. And then these ones actually had the smile kind of going on top of the eyes. So I ended up having to work with that and fix that a little bit too. And I tried to make sure the shape was, you know, on point with the circle and everything like that. 
and then you see I fully cut out the eyes right there and then I just went in with a paintbrush and tried to just paint back over with the white and the black right there and then as you can see now the eyes are just full right there by itself with the nose and then I went over with the paintbrush again to actually take away the old emoji eyes right there and then I basically added in the new you know Spongebob eyes I was trying to mess with like the sizing and positioning of it to see what would look the best and then I noticed the actual like the nose uh, the yellow color wasn't exactly like on point so I tried to make that match perfectly that's basically the best thing I think I could come up with for this. There's nothing else I could really think of adding. I think that's pretty good right there for a Spongebob emoji. Let's move on to the next one. The last one we're going to do is the Simpsons one right here. We're going to turn this into an emoji. And for this one, we're going to design him as a screaming emoji since that's pretty much what he's doing always in the show. And he also grabs his face kind of just like this emoji right here so i feel like this is probably the perfect one to use and then since we did it for the other shows real quick before we design this let's just go over the backstory of it so the simpsons show was actually created by matt groaning i'm not gonna lie i probably butchered that name but yeah it premiered on december 17th 1989 it revolves around the simpson family in the town of springfield and according to google i think it said it had 760 episodes made or something like that and then I already had a picture of like, you know, Homer in the corner right there screaming, but I actually went to Google to find a different one just because I just wanted the head to use. So I had to go in and cut that out too. So I could just use that since there was a background. All right, so now that I fully cut that out right there, there's no background left, so we can just use whatever we want from it. I'm gonna just cut out one eye so that it's basically easier and then I can just flip it. So I basically did that. There was a little bit of yellow left and then I just took that out. And then I wanted to change the emoji itself since it was like two colors, just to one solid orange color. And I think that looked way better to match the actual Simpsons. And then I did the same thing that we did with the other ones, just took the eye in there, warped it if I had to, and then flipped them, put them on both sides. And then from there, I actually went on Google again and got another Homer, uh, you know, image or whatever. Just because of the ear and like where the ear was placed, I feel like it was way better to get this one right here. And then I also had like to match the orange and yellow color too. So I feel like I did that the best I could. And then I wanted to add the little like M shaped little hair or whatever that is on the side. And then it, I definitely started to see it coming together at this point. And then we had to go back and you know, to cut some more out from Homer. So I wanted to cut out the nose and the mouth. So I just went and cut that out completely and then just dragged that over the old mouth that was on the emoji. And then I kind of seen that it didn't look that good. So I wanted to go back in and paint over the other one. And then I put that back in and erased some of the nose off of two so that it would blend in. Then I basically thought I was done and then I realized I didn't do the hair on top. And that's the full finished emoji right there. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And then you guys can watch the next video right here if you want.